fake news, alternative facts, ano man ang tawag dyan mga best, it doesn't change the fact that these are untrue and unreal. In short, fakey, pero pinilalabas sa totoo kunyari. May tatlong common forms tayo na pamilya. Pinakamadaling mapansin, satires. May mga balitang basis sa katulanan, pero ginaga hong chok. Ha! If you think something is too funny to be too, magduda ka ng best. Pero ang magandang bagay sa satires, hindi kasi nasa dyan lukoy ng writers. All you need to do is verify. Dapat pamilyar ka sa notorious satirical sites. When in doubt, google mo na lang. Satire websites are clear in saying they're satire. Then, meron namang fake news. Lantaran, walang katotohanan. Wait! Usually, these things have something to do with alarmist information. Pero lagi niyong iisipin, these things concern public safety. Kaya, obligasyon ng gobyerno i-alerto tayo tungkol dito. Kaya, walang informasyon na hindi nila pwedeng hitaan sa mga kilala at respetado news organizations. No government agency will keep this thing secret, kaya there's no point believing other people who say so. The last kind is a bit tricky. These are what we call misleading news. They are based on facts, but twisted and deliberately taken out of context. May habik sa katotohanan, kaya malinito ka. The spread of fake news has become so bad that people are not calling this era the post-truth era. Ang tanong pa nga ng Time Magazine, is truth dead? You may ask, what's the point? The answer is simple. Why do people lie? Kasi may gustong pagtakpan, kasi may gustong siraan, kasi may gustong lokohin. They want to fool us so bad that they are paying people money, lots of them, to lie to us. They are called trolls. Trolls are scary. <laughs> yes, they are also very lousy. So, check the trolls. Kung yung post nila, kumbaga, parang copy-paste na lang, ibig sabihin, troll na yan. Check the trolls. Totoong tao ba sila? How to tell? Check your profile or your profile ng friends mo. Di mo maraming pictures, maraming comments, kasi totoong tao kayo. If these elements don't exist on your profiles, ibig sabihin, troll na yan, chong. Eww. Now that we know kung anong fake news at paano itong nabibiktima, the next step is of course to take action. What can you, we, to stop the spread of fake news. I'm Apple Gamboa of StopSafi.com. Sama ang out of the box. Mawa pa loko, look behind and beyond the facade, beyond the lookout. Kuwa mo best! Winner! It's not enough that we know fake news exist. Ang mas mahalaga, kumilos para pigilan ang paggawa at paggalak nito. First, know how to spot them. Check the source. If it does not come from a reputable and recognized news organization, magduda ka na. Usually, misleading news have very alarmist and sensationalized headlines. So when you see headlines like these, magduda ka na. Lalo na kapag binasa mo ang article at walang kahit na anong pruweba, paliwanag, detalye o pangalan. Second, check the accountability. Dapat ang writer ay may pangalan at totoong tao. Ang mga itinuturing na reputable at recognized news organizations, may nakapublikong editorial board, nagpe-present ng iba't ibang sides ng issues, at may kilalang fact-checking system. When you're not sure, Google, verify it. Fake news propagators do not have the patience or the skills to gather their own information. Lahat ng yan, kinuha lang din nila sa internet. So most possibly, you will be able to find the original source of the information online. Double check if they match. Kung may mga hindi magtutugma, magduda ka na. Sa videos naman, mga bes, madali lang yan. If the videos are severely cropped, if they jump too much o hindi tuloy-tuloy, malamang sobrang edited ng mga yan. Kinuha lang din nila sa kung saan-saan sa internet. So, get keywords and look for the original video yourself. For photos, there is no excuse. You can use Google server's image search. You may counter-check photos there and it will lead you to the original source. Actually, mga bes, dadali naman talaga ang buhay natin if we just want, know when we are being lied to, and two, learn how to trust our news organizations. Kapag hindi galing sa kanila ang information, do not easily trust the information.
Let's talk about your character. Aside sa pagiging pabebe niya. Oh. <laughs> so, pabebe ka! Oh. Yan yan. Pabebe din ako. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, I'll just say this. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Alec Kevin. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Alec King. And I'm playing Chan Chavez. And I'll be playing the role of Kiko Lunsad in the series Boys Lockdown. Even though we are in a conservative society, we still need to uh, tell those stories. That's why I love Boys Lockdown because it's not just attack on LGBT issues, but also jabs on social economic aspects of our society. Just to start, I'm Apple Gamboa. I'm the lifestyle editor for Subselfie.com. It's so nice to be able to push through with this interview, despite our situation. I mean, how are you coping with this pandemic? Um, if it's been almost six months, diba? And um, how have you been? Have you been coping? Uh, what are your realizations through this pandemic, through this quarantine? Anyone can answer. Alec, go Ali. Go muna. Hi. So, <laughs> Ali, Alec, you don't be shy. Come well, on. Go, uh, go Sige, na, Ali. Go Ali. Sige, um, Can you see us as friends? Hello po. <laughs> Sige po. Um, hello po, Miss Apple. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. So, I'm Good Ali afternoon. King. Ayun. Hi. Um, paano ba ako nag-cope with the pandemic? It's actually very parang biglaan kasi nung nag-start yeah. tayo ng March, parang I only packed everything parang okay it's going to be two weeks as parang fast forward meaning September na and mag October na and oh, super diba? parang spur <laughs> <laughs> parang lahat na nang nangyayari parang spur of the moment kind of yeah. thing and parang um kasi i have a day job oh. kaya parang yung work ko na yon naging naging um parang work from home basis din kasi i work in an advertising industry mm. so parang you can work remotely kung saan man and wala kang takas ganun so yeah, um, aside sa work, parang dahil nga super na stuck sa bahay and parang you have nothing else to do but to work, parang sobrang blessing na um, I gained followers um, online because wow. of um, me being very active online then and then dumagdag din yung ticket to me, boys lockdown. So it's just a, it, it is such a blessing. Yeah. Though parang I understand na parang there are different situations din na parang it could have been worse. Um, yeah. It could have been worse. Parang, I'm so thankful na parang um, kinup ko pa ko. <laughs> kinup ko pa ko nila Sir Darwin yeah. and Sir Carl. And um, they gave me this very great opportunity talaga during the pandemic. I'm so grateful and blessed. Sobrang blessing pa lang ticket to me. Ikaw, uh, uh, I, Alec. I also um, agree. How did you cope up during this quarantine naman? I also agree naman? with Ali yeah. na ticket to me has been a big part of how I coped up with the pandemic. Because if it weren't for mm-hmm. them, I wouldn't be doing anything <laughs> now. Mm-hmm. So, doing a lot of things, uh, being uh, focusing on other things as well, made me. Uh, it helped me, uh, at least take off or remove the mga negative thoughts or mm-hmm. sad thoughts regarding this pandemic. But at the same time, it also opened my eyes to what's really happening in our country. So, it's yeah. nice. Okay, okay. So now let's go to the voice lockdown. Of course, the main topic of this interview. Um, can you tell, pero syempre medyo pahapiyo muna tayo on the side of your careers. Or your, what are your careers or roles before you got into Boys Lockdown? Um, before, before Boys Lockdown and before nung ECQ, parang um, focused ako sa work ko. Pero parang I was chasing ah. my dream. <laughs> uh, I wanted May to become... Ng dream. Oh. Kaya nga eh, grabe yung pag-chase ng dream. <laughs> um, yeah. Before, before gusto ko parang maging part of a cabin crew. So parang apply-apply ako sa airlines, ganun. Nice. Tapos parang yun, nag-lockdown and then yung retrenchments ng ibang um, airlines. Kaya airlines. super parang yeah. heartbroken ako na parang, yeah, th- this year is really not a good time to chase my dreams sa aviation industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And parang it's great din na um, habang na on hold yung pangarap kong yun parang nagkaroon ako ng detour and nakuha ko tong opportunity na to along the way yeah ikaw naman Alec uh, again actually almost similar din yung sagot namin ni Ali because uh, before hmm. the lockdown I was still studying so uh, although after my graduation uh, 
my plan was, my initial plan was to go into pilot school as well. So, aviation industry. Oh, but ba? Talaga may similarities yeah. kayo ni Ali, oh. yeah? Meant to, be, <laughs> but talaga, meant to, be, ka. to work together, ha? Huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, me, uh, well, si Ali is for uh, the cabin crew or... Um, meanwhile, ako naman po for the pilot school talaga. Unfortunately, uh, although, uh, unfortunately, hindi siya natuloy kasi close lahat ng yung plan yeah. ko na pilot school na pundahan ko. And, and at the same time, I was thankful naman din kasi I was able to graduate kahit pandemic, in the middle of a pandemic. Although yeah. it was hard, I, I'm, I'm thankful po na ayun. So fresh grad ako as it is, as of now. So, and of course mo, what were, where, where were uh, you studying? What were you taking up? Uh, I uh, I took up uh, applied physics in UP Diliman. Nice. But what was the aviation school that you were trying to get into? Uh, PAL. Philippine Pal. Airlines. Ikaw, Ali, which which um airlines were you trying to apply to? For? PAL. Sige lang. PAL. <laughs> Pal. 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 Or... Apa, I, I'm currently working in an advert in an advertising agency, so Dentsu. I'm not sure if you're Dentsu. Apa, yeah, Dentsu yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. Ah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I actually applied to that company. At yeah. talaga po. Wait, okay, so may previous yeah. work din po kayo sa um, advertising yes. agency din. I actually worked for Ogilvy for almost two years. So, biglang nasari ako oh, sa conversation. Okay, <laughs> so, Ogilvy is yes. ad people. Very familiar so, din. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I know also people from the aviation school, so medyo familiar ako sa ginagdalawan uh-huh. yung ano, yes, industry. Yes, naman po. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, nice. Now, ito na talaga, job na tayo to voice lockdown. How did you get your roles as key and Chen, key Chen in um, uh, voice lockdown? Anyone can start po. Oh. <laughs> um, sige, Ay, gusto mo ikaw muna, Alec. Okay, uh, well, ako po, uh, personally po kasi, uh, I've always wanted to act talaga. So, it was, uh, when I saw the parang casting call, I really got mm. interested. In, I, I got interested instantly. So, I, I submitted my audition video. And <laughs> then, ayun. So, ayun po, thankfully, I got in after like sobrang habang mga cast, uh, callbacks and auditions. Please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ikaw naman, Al. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Yung for, ano po, yung sa audition ko, tinap ako actually sa yeah. Instagram. And din pala yung medyo nag-rise pa lang yung ano, BL. Um, parang two days before, um, ako i-contact ni Ticket to Me to audition for this BL series. May, nag- may nag-tap na din sa akin na BL series na parang short skit lang. Though parang I... Yeah. Um, yeah, med, um, hindi kami nag-agree with like how the plot okay. is going to go. Kay, kindly, okay. I kindly declined. Tapos parang I said to myself na maybe may other BL show na magtatap sa akin in a couple of days. Yeah. Tapos parang super weird kasi na mind blown ako. Oh my God, the message si Ticket to me na, Hello, Ali King, do you want to audition for this BL show we're going to produce? Tapos parang ako naman, wala akong acting um, background. I don't have any acting chops. Um, and medyo... Mm nag hesitate ako ng onte kasi I don't want to embarrass myself na <laughs> baka <laughs> kasi wala kang acting background so ayun um, and, yeah yeah I did um, nakakagulat pa rin na yeah. and, and and now nandito ako so <laughs> panahon niyo ba tong first acting role for anything or not no. um for me po yeah this is my first acting gig pero this si case. Alec po yeah si Alec may background na po siya Oh, what is your background, uh, I did, Alec? Uh, I did a short film po before sa mm-hmm. for Cinemalaya. And then, actually, mm-hmm. it was a thesis film po sa UP. And then, they uh, they included it lang sa Cinemalaya. And then, uh, another, parang usually po mga thesis films or classroom films la mga for good for classes lang po within the UP. Uh, yeah. Within UP. So, usually, ganun po yung mga ginagawa what was the film that was included on Cinema Live? Uh, it's Fish Out of Water. Fish Out of uh, Water. 2016 po. Uh, it's a short film by Derek Mongarillao. So parang talagang itong Boys Lockdown is really one of your major, parang major yes, project uh-huh. niyo first time. First yes, major uh-huh. project. 
Yes, yes. Was it was it yes. was it difficult or was it challenging to audition for queer roles? Um, for me, po, because parang I've tried to understand then um queer roles in the media and how it affects people, especially the minority. And for me, then mm. it's good to be part of something that really takes a stand on social economic issues, not just the LGBT community, but also what's currently happening. And for me, um, I like representing um, the minority and taking a stand on what I know is right, especially now that I have the platform to do so. So, ayun, aside lang dun sa issue na yun, where we also tackled or took a jab on some issues that really need to we need to shed light on. So, ayun, it's okay. it's difficult for me because mm. it's my first time doing everything and parang tira sa buwan, sige bahala na. Pero I'm I'm grateful na parang my co-star si Alec is parang very supportive our, our other co-stars are always there to support us din sa lahat ng ginagawa natin and it's scared i'm scared um at first pero um as time went by i got ano din, um confidence then from my co-actors and ano si Alec how about you Alec uh ako naman po uh, challenging well uh, ano po kasi, like from my previous acting, uh, acting job or acting gig, it made me realize that um, I wanted to take part in films or movies or projects that have meanings and those that will, that will have an impact on people's lives. So, ayun, as an actor, uh, I mean, as a storyteller po, uh, and, I, and I used acting as, a, as my medium or parang my way of telling stories. Uh, it parang for me, it wasn't much of a uh, uh, an obstruction or or uh, a hassle or something uh, that will hinder me because stories need to be told. Uh, they need to be uh, kahit, uh, even though we are in a conservative society, we still need to uh, tell those stories and we still need to mm-hmm. give light to those who are not yet parang who, whose voice aren't heard yet. So, nakakatuwa naman yung intention nyo about um, um, getting into the, the show kasi nga, sa amin din sa Subselfie, we, it's important for us to tackle different issues that's concerning the public also. So, ano yung ibang social topics or issues na that was tackled into the show? Aside from, oh, you know, the LGBTQA plus community. Ni na mention kasi ni Ali kanina. Mm-hmm. Um, I think po, what we wanted to highlight dito sa show na to would be um, the show's main antagonist. Um, during the course of the show, um, na-realize namin na parang, oh, um, di ko alam kung pwede ba siya spoil or not, pero there is no bad guy. Wala tayo spoil. Yeah, there, wala, wala, siyang, parang, wala siyang bad guy. <laughs> Everyone wants to root for Key. Everyone wants to root for Chen. Everyone wants to root for the supporting characters. Because mm-hmm. they all have different struggles that they're currently facing in the show. And parang what we wanted to highlight don is kung sinin toto ang um, hindrance um, from what we want to parang tell. And yun yung pandemic and how it affects people's lives, um, regardless kung ano mong social class mo, regardless kung ano bang struggle yung hinaharap mo ngayon. And that's mm very important especially um when we're producing something in the midst of a pandemic we want to showcase what we're facing and what we're struggling regardless kung nasan ka man party ng buhay mo kung, or kung ano mang hinaharap mo ngayon so ayan let's delve deeper into the story um let's talk about your characters tell me more about uh, your characters and what's voice lockdown really all about ano yung story kumbaga just now Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> my character is Chen Chavez. So, uh, Chen Chavez represents, uh, in a way, because uh, in the story, he is, am I allowed to say? Uh, I don't know. But I, I'll just say this. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, uh, I think he's, uh, he's the type of privilege. Uh, everything goes easy, easily so for his mm-hmm. life. And then he's a... Uh, so, parang, in, the, in the show, yeah, there were two sides, so yung Kiki and then Chen. So, Chen's side, uh, 
he wanted to represent those who are kind of privileged, but in a way they will find themselves or they will learn up oh, and they will learn that there's more to life than just being privileged or if there's uh you have to connect to the other pe- to other people to mm-hmm. your parent, something like parent I want not to divulge much but it's hard but I'm, I'm, I'm scared baka may ma spill ma spoil ako or ano it's okay ikaw naman Ali what was your well, character about um, so, yung character ko, si Kika Lunsod, and ano siya eh, um, nung inaral ko siya, feeling niya introvert siya, pero super extrovert niya kasi before the pandemic, meron siyang group of friends na parang he is longing for physical touch. And feeling ko nga si Kika Lunsod love language niya yung physical touch eh, kasi parang um, yung background story niya and paano siya nagkukopi yun sa pandemic, paano yung personality niya habang nakalock siya. So, um, contrasting sa character ni Alec, which is Chen, si Ki naman, parang um, na- nag-isolate siya. Kasi during the pandemic, um, nasa, um, well, naka-dorm siya. As he, student okay. siya, ganun. So parang he has to parang face every day alone. And then yung friends niya, malayo din sa kanya. And um, he has to fight this battle alone. So it's mm-hmm. nice to see kung paano mag-grow yung character ni Ki over time. And paano nag-iiba yun and nag adapt once na nakilala niya si Chen. Eh wala, sobrang it's so nice to portray Ki kasi he is very different sa personality ko but at the same time, sobrang same din. Which is weird mm. if I say it. Pero I think people can understand kung saan ako nanggagaling kapag napanood na nila yung show. So since na nabanggit mo na rin, ano yung, what do you think are your different, your similarities with your role? <laughs> Um, kay Ki naman, si Ki kasi very ano siya, gusto niya isipin na introvert siya, hindi siya very social media savvy, ganun. And um, tech, yung buhay ko nabubuhay, nabubuhay ako sa Twitter, nabubuhay ako sa Instagram. And si Ki very reserved, <laughs> like yung private life niya, nasa sakay niya lang and with his close friends. Ayun. So doon ako hindi medyo makarelate kay Ki. <laughs> so kung ano yung similarities niyo naman ni Ki? Um, aside sa pagiging pabebe niya. <laughs> so, pabebe ka! Uh, <laughs> pabebe din ako. <laughs> so, um, aside sa pagiging gano'n ni Ki, um, takot siya mag-take ng risks, pero kung gusto niya talaga, gagawin niya. And doon ako nakarelate sa kanya kasi parang it's it's brave of him to to pursue something na alam niyang baka magkaroon ng consequences along the way. Pero yeah. alam mo yun, um, in the end, parang it's it's worth it naman to take risks kahit na alam mong may repercussions siya. Mm. Ikaw naman, Alec. Anong similarities mo with uh, Ken Chavez? To be honest, uh, it's really hard for me to parang find similarities because parang the more I get to know the character, the more that I have found him to be uh, parang separate entity po talaga. Parang he's really different from me. He's a different ta- type of character. But if I were to parang say something, a similarity ko siguro, I think more of the more on the physical side or physical aspects in a sense. Like for example, he dances well or he loves mm-hmm. dancing. Personally, uh, me, I love dancing as well. Okay. But I feel like we have more differences. Yes, to them similarities. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, like the character of Chen Chavez has, an, uh, has a super active online presence. Uh, he's very, uh, like, uh, like he then, he's adventurous or he takes risks. Mm-hmm. He takes leaps of faith. But unlike me, I, I'm ako yung most reserved talaga. Tapos, it's hard for me okay. to parang, uh, take risks or 
sometimes uh may yung mga moves ko always calculated always mm-hmm. like, I always think twice about it most of the times unlike si Chen sobrang parang he wants to so he's gonna work go get it yes parang gonna go get yeah. talaga so ayun po uh, what else uh, more on differences I, yeah, more on oh. differences talaga yung mas nakikita Wala ko. Wala masyadong similarity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Parang medyo strong, challenging pala, no? Na yeah. med- di kayo masyadong similar to your character. So talagang medyo it took a lot of effort, ano, somehow. Yes. More, uh, it took a lot of researching. Uh, mm-hmm. para, I had to look, ano ba talagang ginagawa ng mga ginitong type of people. So, I had to use it talaga. And, <laughs> and, si and ano talaga, Ali. character research. Dapat, 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 si Alec, dapat, dapat ako nalang tinanong mo, Alec, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Alam pala niya. <laughs> so, ano naman yung pakiramdam nyo to be chosen as lead casts of a BL series? Thankful ako. And at the same time, parang, nung una nag-doubt ako kasi, um, na-stalk ko na si Alec nung, ano, nung nalaman ko na he got the part ni Chen, tapos na, nakita ko na, oh, meron siyang short film, ganun ganon Parang, oh my God, yung partner ko sa series may acting chops, tapos ako parang, I don't know how to act, <laughs> pero ayun. May nakagulat kasi I, I would have never thought na tatanggapin nila ako kasi akala ko na underwhelmed sila sa performance ko, sa initial auditions ko, I thought na parang, oh, this guy doesn't know how to act, parang ayun. Pero nakakatuwa na they saw something in me, kaya parang it kind of gave me hope. Uh, yeah. naman po, uh, when I found out that I got in the role, I was super thankful. First, because I wanted to, uh, I wanted to act again, get the chance to act again in a on a project. So, uh, sobrang grateful lang po talaga ako. And at the same time, I was, uh, I, I, it made me excited because it's an opportunity for me to share children or other people the courage that they want, that they need through the story that we're gonna make. So, right. And at the same time, medyo, ano din, medyo I was kind of uh, nervous because marami na din, uh, it, during the time we got in, it was the height of the BL fan of the BL phenomenon in the Philippines. So, Even in Asian around, countries, it, diba? Dami. Oh, well, sobra. Yes. Sobrang nag-peak siya. So, parang, it was, uh, I got scared because parang, it, are we going to be able to parang bring it up or parang sustain the the uh, the the high or the peak of the viewers. So, ayun, thankfully naman po to uh, uh after the shooting, parang sobrang grabe po yung trust namin and trust ko sa show. So, I'm excited for mm-hmm. everyone to see it by now. I'm excited to so, watch it. Yeah, so <laughs> I hope it's gonna parang produce or bring another peak sa parang pagka gusto or pagka hilig ng mga Pinoy sa uh, Yeah. So, kumusta naman yung experience of working together as Ali and Alec? I know, hindi ito yung usual shooting situation because we're under, we're dealing with the pandemic. Kumo na, Alec. Happy naman kayo. <laughs> <Alec. laughs> uh, uh, of course, uh, so, uh, I, sobrang thankful lang po talaga ako. And I, I, and I can only say words of gratitude sa producer natin, sa Tikiti Team. Because, uh, mm-hmm. grabe, uh, since relatively it was our first uh first pro- major project uh individually or together uh grabe yung parang yung mga posters namin they're saying na uh, sobrang grabe yung alaga sa amin ng ticket to me uh the opportunity uh, mm-hmm. uh by the way po an on location shoot kami what we did was an on location shoot so we were ah, locked meron. Okay. Yes, we were locked. Yeah, medyo lang. Yeah, we were locked down in uh sa isang uh sa isang venue or sa isang location. Pero sobrang grabe kasi uh we were protected properly uh yung protocols, health protocols, everything. Sobrang sobrang mm-hmm. alaga po talaga. Sobrang grabe. Thank you, thank, thank you pala kay Sir Darwin at kay Sir Carlo yes, talaga. Apo. So, Thank you po sa mga ni Alec. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then, we, since yun nga, relatively new po kami, finding out that the people in our production team, grabe, mga award-winning. Award-winning sila. Experience, award-winning. So, yes, yeah. sobrang experience. So, it was, grabe, sobrang thankful for the trust. Kasi, newbie kami ni Ali, tapos yung parang production team namin, sobrang, ano na agad, uh, parang, it, it's, at, 
at par with the ano talaga, award yeah. winners, yung mga big, big companies, big production houses. So, mm-hmm. I'm thankful lang talaga. Uh, Ikaw naman na adding to, oh. opo, um, adding to what Alex said, parang yung mga nakatrabaho namin ni Alex on nung shoot were people sa industry na very, mm-hmm. um, they know what they do, they, they've honed their craft and super grateful kami nakawork namin silang lahat from direct Jade Castro, Take Lamore, mm-hmm. um, Sef Suarez, and everyone sa prod team, they were all so understanding. Parang, um, hindi siya soft, hindi siya smooth sailing every day. And I understand <laughs> naman kasi 14 hours lang pwede mag-work, yeah. uh, mag-shoot, and parang super time constraint niya, and parang all the needs and requirements mm-hmm. of safety protocols and stuff. True. Kaya nakakatuwa na parang kahit bago kami, hindi kami super coddled, but hindi din kami sobrang ni reprimand to the point na parang natatakot mm. na kami. Kasi it's so nice um, na they understand na bago kami and we're still learning the ropes. Nung natapos na yung shoot at lahat, parang na-realize ko na, ayan, I know na parang hindi ganito yung takbo ng ibang prod na um, mm-hmm. mababait lahat and super madali lang katrabaho. But super, super blessed ako na sa una kong prod shoot, I get to work with the best people, the nicest people, and the most understanding. That's great to know. Well, parang you were really given the the freedom to really do what you how to act really talaga to express yourself. You know? You're really taken care of. <laughs> so, ayan, since uh, this story happened during the time of the pandemic, then also diba? that was the situation. Um, yeah, the love of P and Chen blossomed during the pandemic. Do, uh, do you really think, uh, do you really believe it's possible to for love to grow despite the distance? <laughs> ah, baka may parang based on experience and uh, inside. Ali. <laughs> si Ali, <laughs> may experience. <laughs> yes, Ayan, Alec. game. <laughs> <laughs> Naniniwala um, ba kayo? I understand naman po that there are some, um, experiences ng pandemic kasi I believe na during the lockdown all our emotions are heightened kaya parang there are people I know na nagkakaroon ng panic attacks may mga taong I know um, longing for someone na matagal nilang di may kita kasi it's parang it's become like the new normal uh, what they coin it to yeah. and I understand that there are other people na nagkakaroon ng quarantines and parang there are some topics about quarantine flings na parang um, they make up um, yung kulang kasi they're, they're isolated dyan. Kaya they look for um, affection sa ibang tao na malayo din, na naghahanap din ng affection. So, I understand mm-hmm. na may ganong um, instances sa ibang tao. Um, but for Ki and Chen, ano lang sila? I don't know. Malandi sila. Malandi sila. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's cute. It's a budding romance. And parang, there may be other people na might get away with it and nakakatuwa lang panoorin na parang there's love in the pandemic. Yes. But do you, do you personally uh, believe it's possible? I think it is. It's feasible. It's not that impossible but it's yes. quite hard to attain. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. I, think as, I think as long as you, as you're responsible, uh, mm. you're a responsible citizen, you're not you're not breaking your rules. I think oh, anything can happen, man. So, can happen. It's possible, yes. So, kahit na blank good game game. Opo. And hey, I go, think go, parang ano, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry to interrupt. It's okay. <laughs> I know it's okay, bro. Ano, ayun lang. Go lang. And Ki and Chen, they're very responsible to add that. <laughs> they're very responsible. <laughs> yeah. We're very responsible. They are, they are. So, good job, Ki and Chen. <laughs> ano <mo> responsibility yan? <laughs> <laughs> Parang you follow the rules, ganyan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Protocols. Yes. So, kahit, kahit love, langu- love language, a love, ang, a love language ni he ang thought, naniniwala siya na love can blossom. Love can blossom, mid- kahit na may restrictions. Despite yes. this time. <laughs> yeah. So, since, um, yun nga, you said, no start to interview about the LGBTQ plus community. Well, we know for a fact that it's still not fully accepted here in the country, right? Um, what do you think is the significance or the importance of having this BL story? I think parang ngayon na nagbo-bloom na yun, and nagbo-blossom yung BL, um, 
yung BL stories kasi originally BL was written was written ah wala na ubul na ako sa English parang <laughs> it has been written by women for women and now that it has gotten traction na understand ko na kung bakit um it needs to have proper representation not only sa women but also sa LGBT community kasi kwento kwento ng LGBT community yun kwento ng ng minoridad and kapag nakikita ko yung kwento na yun and kapag na-realize ko na parte ako doon para magiging sobrang na- napapaisip na lang ako na responsibilidad kung makagawa ng bosses para sa walang bosses ngayon and what's currently happening sa bansa natin sa mga balita about um LGBT rights and how um those rights have been stolen from other people it's so important na magawa namin yung responsibility namin as storytellers as actors as people who have the platform to do so to be very vocal about it and that's why i love boys lockdown kasi what i've said kanina hindi lang atake sa lgbt issues and how um it should be but also jab sa social economic aspects ng bansa natin na kailangan din um, pagtuunan ng pansin. True. Agree. I agree. I definitely agree with that. Alex? Uh, uh, I agree with Ali. Similar din po yung thoughts namin. I just wanted to add siguro in a way doing this uh, will help normalize or uh, yeah, normalize uh, stories like these so that uh, in the future uh, kids will be comfortable knowing that they, uh, we're actually, uh, our generation, as it is now, is we're finally moving towards a future where love's, uh, love knows no gender, where people have the courage to be who they truly are, truly are, and you know, where everyone's accepted as well. Mm-hmm. Isa pang hot topic ngayon, I'm sure you're fully aware of that, was the decision on Pemberton. Uh, the pardon yes. that was granted, the full pardon, and um, what do you think about the decision considering that the what's at stake is justice for a transgender? I think it's been um, fully understandable that people have been um, batting an eye on that issue for such a long time and I understand that parang it has been years and ngayong bigla ang decision na ng um, mga tumatakbo, nagpapatakbo ng bansa na, ipar- na ipardon yung um si Pemberton ng kahit yung um lawyer ni Pemberton wala ding alam kung bakit um nagdecide yung gobyerno natin gawin yun para siyang um job sa community for my fellow brothers and sisters and dun ko na realize na kailangan ko tong gawin and kailangan kong magamit yung boses ko talaga kasi kung hindi ako gagamit ng boses ko kung yung mga ibang artista na nananahimik and yung mga ibang tao may boses pero hindi ginagamit, hindi nagsasita. Sino magsasita para sa mga taong nakangailangan? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, similar din po. Uh, 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 justice, equality, and love is what Boys Lockdown is fighting for. So as mm-hmm. a storyteller of this kind of stories, it's uh, it's sad to hear that, that you know, injustice, you know, being unfair uh, of the society, you know, rules, you know, laws, you know, it's it's just against totally against what of what I believe in or what we're trying to fight. So the public is really um, lucky to have you as their voice, kumbaga, as voice lockdown as a channel, kumbaga, to to convey all these messages. So, uh, yes. what do you think can the public expect from Voice Lockdown once na ready to be watched na yung episode? Fully. Uh, Kompleto na. <laughs> what can they expect? Uh, well, uh, ako po, I'm excited for them to see uh, the Filipinos take on BL. At the same time, it's our opportunity to be different naman po from the other part. And the, way, uh, in the story itself, uh, it's really mm-hmm. different from the common BLs. Although we have the same elements from the BL genre, we really added the Filipino twist, the Filipino message, the message we wanted mm-hmm. to convey. And like what we've been always t- uh, telling our, uh, everyone, the fans, po, parang, uh, the message we wanted, uh, Boys Lockdown wanted to convey was that 
the message they wanted to convey was that um, we're all riding the same storm, but not all of us are riding the same ship or the same boat. So, I am. How about you, Alec? Quotable quote, the Alec. Quote of the day, you know. Quote of the day. Ikaw naman, Ari. Um, ako naman po, it's nice din na parang um, we went back to be a roots. So parang yung writer nito, si Danny Season, parang um, yung story nito um, was to tell people na we should all love who they want to love. And there's love in the middle of the pandemic. And kahit na there's love, may struggles pa rin. And I just, parang yung kwento just really focuses on how we survive this pandemic together regardless kung ano mang um, stand or kung nasan man tayo sa lugar ng buhay natin. That's great, that's great. So now please invite your audience, your future big audience and the sub-selfie readers to watch Voice Lockdown. Where can we watch it? Um, eventually, invite them. Go, go. No, Alec. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, to to the readers uh, and to the watchers, uh, uh, I hope you support us. Voice lockdown is for the Filipino people. Uh, we wanted to uh, so uh, we wanted to share the story so that you'll be you'll be able to identify yourself one way or another with uh, at least with the at least isang character in your series. So uh, we're excited to share our story. So I hope you support us. You can watch it. And take it to me is uh they'll they'll be uh by then Puata or right now they're developing a platform where we can share uh our videos and where filmmakers mm -hmm. as well can uh it's an avenue or it's a platform for them to monetize their uh their creations and hey po, uh mm -hmm. voice lockdown will be the pioneer in that platform but at the same time yeah. will will be also uh. Uh, showing our series in YouTube, so great. That's great, Ali Ali. <laughs> um, I po. Thank you, po, Miss Apple, for inviting us to Sub Selfie. Um, it's so Ms. nice. Oh, uh, Miss Apple, <laughs> 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 no, no. Um, Thank you so much for inviting us. This is our first um interview, and super yeah. nakatuwa na it's with Sub Selfie. So ayon, nakatuwa. Uh, it's it's such a big leap sa aming dalawa ni Alec. And uh, before, may mga um, fan service shows din kami. So, shameless plug if you want to watch po. Yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> um, fan service shows, you can go to Ticket to Me's official YouTube channel. So, Ticket to Me. And yung ibang yeah. um, show um, videos namin ni Alec where we talk about our skincare routine. Tinan nyo naman po yung balat ni Alec. Oh. Wow! Pero wala yung glass skin eh. Ano po? Miss Apple naman po. Kaya din po. Tatlo po tayo dito. Huwag din. Maliwanag lang dito. Ay, maliwanag lang ba? <laughs> ayun. Ayun po. Um, so, ayun. Yeah. Na, thank you so much. Um, please watch Ticket to Me. It will be out um, this October. We're very excited for you um, and for everyone to watch it. Um, lahat ng hirap and hard work and effort ng binagsak namin dito para lang sa lahat ng tao mananood. And I hope na pag pinanood nila to, maging masaya sila and ma-understand nila kung bakit namin ito ginagawa. Yay! I'm excited! Yes, well, Thank you so lots, much. Blood sweat. Yeah. <laughs> lots of sweat. Grabe ang mag-post. Lots of sweat. Grabe, <laughs> grabe po yung pawis ni Alex. Hindi mo ba kinaya yung pawis niya? Hindi po eh. <laughs> So thank you, thank you guys for this interview. It's such a great privilege for to really be the first one to do this interview with you guys. So I wish you the best of luck for Voice Talk. I will watch. Definitely, yeah, I will so watch it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. When is it starting? The, the series um, itself? October? October po. Mid-October po. Yeah, mid-October. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so thank much, Paul. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this interview. Really appreciate it. Tinan nyo naman po yung balat ni Alec, oh. Wow. Pero wala yung glass skin, eh. Miss Apple naman po. Kaya din po. Tatlo po tayo dito. Hindi. Maliwanag lang dito. Ay, maliwanag lang ba? Ayun.